Hi everyone, I'm back. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a uh, crackle thing. And I'm hoping it's gonna be awesome because I really wanna do this. So there are two ways to do this. You can put these through the colors or you can um, just, oh really. Or you can just do a, um, in a different manner, you just put a, a sort of a glaze on, it'll crack, and then you put something in. But let me get the, uh, the instructions, might be easy. Uh-oh, can't, can't get by the instructions, so I'll have to read it. Okay, two methods, and let's see if they have it in a language that I can read. They don't, it's all in French. Okay. Uh, nay, my French isn't that, that, that good. Oh, this is the one, um, I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay. What I wanted to uh, paint is this little box. It has a little lid and then I can put a little pour in here and uh, it has a little glass and that's kind of cute um, but I'm not sure which method I'm going to uh, use might be one method number one or it might be method number two where you put it through the paint um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do <laughs> let's Okay, crackle paint take two, because I just started the, the video, but I was so unorganized. So um, this is what we're gonna be testing. This is um, for the crackle effect. And it's a uh, two-based um, fluid, and there's two ways to do it. Uh, the first one is that you, um, let's see. You paint the background, then you put on a layer of number two, this one, and then you let it dry, and then you put on the top layer, and then you'll get an effect that looks like this. So that's what we're gonna do in the first first bit, and I'll have to stick these videos together because, um, well, of course, I'm, I have to let it dry in between. So what we're going to do is give it the nice, oh no, there's a lot of silicone in here. Well, who cares? Well, let's see what happens. So um, I'm going to paint the background because that's what I like the cracks to look like. So here we go. That's going to shine through as cracks. I really like this color, it's beautiful. There we go, nice and blue, turquoisey blue. Let's give it a nice smooth finish. Might do the sides a little too. Okay, see that's nice and uh, nice covered. Do this side too. Nice and smooth. Okay, this is number one. So we're gonna let this one dry. That one's ready. Now, the next one is going to be a little bit different. <clears throat> because we're going to do it in the second way. Um, 
you put about three to seven percent of the crackle number one you put through the paint so that's what we're going to do we're going to shake this up that's enough okay you need a pair a screwdriver to open up this little thing and we're going to do the same color uh, yep so we're going to put in the paint and about three to seven percent of this going to mix it up of course we go and this is the method number two so we're gonna put that on the uh, on the canvas that we don't get mixed up this is number two same color because we'd like to see what the difference is between uh, the two methods uh, one might just give you that effect that you're looking for uh, and you never know before you try so that's what we're doing it's beautiful weather by the way here in Holland glad we have some sunshine although they're planning for us to get a lot of rain this afternoon but we had a little Sun in the morning that always makes everything look better. Okay, this one. Gotta do it a little fast. That's it. Okay, now we're going to smooth this out. Of course you want to, I think we do need a little bit of a layer on here, a little thicker than the other one. Okay, that's it. Now we have both of them uh, painted, so we're ready for phase two, but we, like I said, have to let them dry, so I'll be back with you guys as soon as this is dry and I can go to... Uh, the second layer. Okay. Love you all to pieces. See you in a bit. Liebe euch alle. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, the number one. So the number one is we first painted the base with the color we want to see the cracks in. Now we're going to add a layer of the crackle medium and we're going to put that on pretty thick because it says to do that and what I'd like to see is uh, different different sizes of cracks so that's why I'm putting it on in some places a little thicker in some a little thinner so we're going to put it on in a sort of creative manner right not an not uniform but more here places a little less places a little more making sure we're touching the sides because I think that's important that it goes way over the side so we're gonna put some down here that's that A little bit here now it's all covered and we're going to let this one dry also so I'm gonna smooth that out just a little bit so it's totally covered with um, 
Okay, a little accident. Oopsie doopsie. We painted it with the antique crackle. That wasn't supposed to... <laughs> wasn't supposed to do that. Doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll do it anyway. Now, I'll put this one away to dry because it might, you know, be something that we really like. But it's rather the same than I did here. Um, let me get my little brush, make the paint a little wet. Um, this is this is something different, guys. I got it mixed up again. But that's just because I'm doing so many videos all after one after another. Um, this is the let me get the lid on. Okay, this is this is just a little bit different. Hope you can see it. Let me get you in focus a little. There you go. So you can write that down if you're going to uh, look for it. But this is antique crackle, and I put that on here. I got two test uh, pieces, and make it a little thinner. So what you do is lay down your base color. Put on a big layer of that medium and then paint your top like this. Put this over the top. And of course you're going for some sort of a um, antique look. Now I've got the same down here, but this is only on plastic. So I'm going to go right over it. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's already starting to work. And you already see these long tears appearing in the uh, in the paint. And it goes pretty fast as you can see so what happens is because you have your base color that is you always have to have two colors so the base color this time I chose for for the darker color but if you like it you can do it the other way around so you can make the base color light put on a darker top base but this one is um, I did the same here this one is on a card so I can show it up close what's happening see that and this one is just here on the plastic. Uh, of course, you can always cut that out to use in some some sort of collages. But as you can see, and while we're talking, and it's it's ripping up the uh, the top uh, base color. And as we're speaking, you can see it making these beautiful uh, antique patterns that'll uh, give the illusion of something that is been weathered and been outside for years and years and the elements have worked into it so I kind of uh, think it's uh, pretty I don't want to put the hair dryer on it too much because I'm not sure how much it's going to disrupt the uh, the reaction of the of the paint but as you can see it is pretty much doing what what it needs to do and these are the thicker your your um, your crackle is this stuff the thicker this is when you put it on um, the more the broader those uh, tears get so you can put it on really thin and then you'll get the real thin little like this and if you put it on a little thicker you'll get the more broader uh, tears and everything as you can see here it's doing its thing I'll just let this roll just a little longer and I'm looking for my other canvas, that's the number two.
as you can see there it's still working so it'll go um i think th this will work for something like maybe even up to half an hour see that so this is more for the decorative this is not you know to do a painting or something like that that's not really uh what this is about let me get another brush and a little bit more paint Okie dokie. So I'm getting white because the other one I'm going to do a white top coat. And this can just, you know, do its thing while we're uh, mixing this up. Let me put this uh, away there. Okay, now I'm going to shake up number two. Now this is the uh, the other one so this is the antique crackle and it's really uh, much easier because you don't have to do so many uh, uh, layers in between but this is our canvas number two and this is crackle number two so I'm gonna put this on So I imagine something like this would look good, you know, as a sort of a beach theme because um, of, the, uh, of the way, you know, when you live uh, close to the ocean that everything weathers a lot faster than uh, not living next to the ocean. But I would happily paint my house every year if I live next to the ocean. <laughs> okay, now we got this one done. Just let that work in there. Getting my brushes in the water because we do want to use them a couple more times. Now I'm not sure if this is going to work straight away or if it's going to take a while. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to be putting the lid back on. And I'm not seeing much happening. Oh, maybe a little bit here in the corner. But I will put the hair dryer to it. kind of funny that only here a tiny tiny little bit is working and the rest isn't and this is working like a charm only here a slightly little bit here is working that is really funny well I'll uh 
turn off the video. We'll give it a, a as soon as I see that it's going to start cracking, I'll come back to you guys. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, now um, this is uh, what it turned into, as you can see. Lots of crackles. And this is where it's thicker, that's where it's thinner. So, that was it. Now there's a lot of uh, ways to do this. There's a lot of products on the market to do it. So we have this one. This is the two-step, although I don't know where the other one is. Don't know where I left it. Let me see. So this is step one, and this is step two. And if you look on YouTube, you will find some um, videos where they uh, explain how to do it, as you can see here. And then um, this can be done in two different methods. And if you go to uh, YouTube, you'll find out exactly how they do that in a real fast video, much faster than I did. And then we have the other one. We have this. This is Antique Crackle. This also makes beautiful, uh, long, like this, long crackle effects. So uh, here we have the base color was dark. We put on a lighter color for the uh, top. Then uh, here I colored it in with a little bit of the uh, light blue, just to give it a little of uh, that beach, beach theme. And that's about it. So there's a lot of ways to do it, guys, but this, this was fun. It takes a while for it to dry fully, you know, to get really cured. But I guess, you know, that goes with the, the, uh, the substance. It takes a while to dry, and we'll have to just get used to it. So I'm going to clean this up now, and um, I'll be right back, because I still have a, a couple of uh, squishes to go for my painting that I'm going to punch out those hearts. So I'll be back in a minute. Love you all to pieces. Later. Okay, I'm back guys. Been mixing up a little paint. Uh, that one I'll show in a bit. This is still the crack, uh, the crack stuff. So we're gonna do, give it our, the next base color. And I'm going to make sure it's a nice covered color. So let's put that on nice and smooth. There we go. I have been working on a big abstract, but I am not feeling it. So, you know, that's the thing when you're doing these big abstracts, you gotta be in the mood. And if you're not in the mood, just don't do it because <laughs> it's not gonna be pretty. But I have started it. And um, I thought I'd just do one, you know, without the video, just to see how that goes. And then if you guys like it, I can always make a video of me doing it. Ooh, it's already, see that? It's already cracking. So, uh, this is the antique crackle. And I'm going to do a little recap in a bit as soon as I cover this. But as you can see, it's already cracking. There it goes. So we'll just let it do its thing and um, I'll show you, I'll, I'll do a little recap so we understand what's going on. Now this is the crackle. And it's these that you use, it's crackle spirit stage one and stage two. It's in French, Etap. Etap one and etap two, I think it says something like that. I don't speak French. Un petit. 
Uh, Parlez-vous de anglais? That's all I can say. Do you speak uh, English and French? <laughs> okay, so this is what you need. It's number one and number two. And you can do it uh, two ways, but this one really worked out well. Look at that. I, I just love it. I really, really, really do. Because it's nice and small, has these little cracks, and it's not all straight like this one. You can see this one uh, starting to dry, and this is the antique uh, crackle, and this is the normal crackle. Now, if you like the weathered sort of thing, that's this. See that? It has these really at random big cracks and all kinds of stuff going on but this is more like uh, wood that it's been out in the elements for a long time and this is more like um, a glaze that they put on ceramics that you know gets all these cracks so this is the real fine stuff well fine you can see my hand you can see how how big it, it the cracks really are but it, it is really beautiful i love this and then here you have the antique see how it's cracking but it gives you more of the long cracks so it's simulates sort of like wood and of course if you put black underneath and you put the lighter color on top you'd get the uh, black where you look through it but i i really like uh, what it's doing and for a background this would be really cool or you could put some lettering on it something like that that will make it really pretty. Now this I would use um, for something like a wooden box, something like that. And yesterday I already started uh, taking it apart and I used a little bit of sandpaper to make it smooth. But I'm gonna do this crack on here, but I'll do that in another video. This is just, you know, for you guys to understand what this stuff does. So um, I'm going to do the light crackle on that. And this would be more for like a background or maybe uh, a frame. If you want to make one of those really weathered frames, this would look awesome on it. Because uh, it gives, really it gives the illusion of the piece being outside in the elements for, I don't know, a couple of years, something like that. It looks really cool. And... Um, that's how we're going to let it dry and you see it just working in front of your uh, in front of your eyes as you can see it's not even dry yet and it does all these weird things but we're going to do this on the box and then i'm going to do um, a really dark base so that you can really see the cracks you know the darker the first layer is the more you'll see the, the cracks coming so um, I might do a really, really dark blue and then a light blue on top. That, that, I think that'll look really cool. And I'm a blue person, so, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not someone that does a lot of purples or pinks. Usually I like everything that's blue, blue-greenish, all the, those colors I really like. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to stick all these videos together. Then I'll be right back and I'm going to be doing uh, one pour with the paints I have left over from today and then that's it for today I have to upload this one I'm uploading a really long one right now uh, but you know when you put them in a video uh, software program you have to render and sometimes it takes up to an hour and a half for the whole thing to render so but it does it by itself good thing that I don't have to sit there watch you do it because that is really boring. I'd rather watch paint dry, something like that. Okay, guys, thanks for this one. I'm going to stick these all together. And um, we're going to be right back with a beautiful pour. Laters.